I must greet you in this bitter cold without a hearty drink. It's no easy feat getting here. I know you didn't come to keep me company. In your heart, there must be something you can't get over. Or someone you can't let go of. Same goes for me. I can't kill that monkey. No one can. Except himself. But at last, I see. This is the only way. He had no choice. And neither did I. Dragged to the execution yard, sword and spear were dull, cleaver and cudgel crushed, and yet he moved to my escape. If he gave his life to put you in this place. <laughs> Let me see you in power, diverging from his.
gods before me. The world knows every stir of your mind. didn't satisfy my spirit. Go back with me to the sky. Let us get drunk before we continue this fight.
I hear tell this Yaogua is high rank a thousandfold above that king. As his sire, he reveres me, and like a deity, he serves me. How dare you think I'm his slave? slave. Kindly chant the loosening spell and release me, Tathagata, so that you can take back my head. Man, and I can be free the court of the Yaogua. But Yaogua said he knew this somewhat. Surely he is no mere mortal. You must be somebody from the court. Great. The journey ends here. Keep the eyes wide to bring open. Them. Watch me rip it off. And break free! Tested you at my behest. All oh, for this day. And only now do I understand that fight. No prestige can shackle him. No band can keep him caged. A mortal death for an unbound mind of will. May you not. I'm now at peace. Your journey, though, has just begun. What's to come of destiny if he steps out of that mural? <laughs> I make a living by reading what was written. The signs alone tell what's to come. What's to come is what's not yet written. No one can read what's not written. Destiny is written in what's done. What's done shapes what's to come, not escape. <laughs> it's all written for me, if only I uncover all that occurred. So? Hmm? There really is something even you cannot read. <laughs> That's good. Very good. <laughs> You're here. We're here. Step aboard. Hey, old monkey. I hope this isn't a one-way trip, is it? <laughs> isn't all life a one-way trip? Once you embark on the journey, there's no turning back. <laughs> Ah, what is this place? His memories. His early days, 
he'd had an eye for the finer things, and a will to wrest them from others. Laying his eyes on, then craving to seize their riches. No better than the Black Bear and Jinsha, I say. He can't have an eye for the finer things, while the Buddha oversees the Three Realms. Well, I hardly think that's fair. <laughs> How insatiable. Not content with his kingdom and title below, he asked for a position in the Celestial Court. But soon after his wish was granted, his joy turned to rage, all because he wasn't invited to a feast. He nearly ruined the entire Celestial Palace. <sighs> Years fume at unfavorable news. As untamed and ungrateful as that yellow rat. <laughs> beasts are beasts, don't you think? He was young. He didn't know any better. Hadn't learned from the Buddha or our master yet. Aren't you being a bit harsh? Dredging up the scandals from his youth? Like his adulthood was any better. Since his release, he had claimed to have learned manners and discipline. Yet his wee Frankenchurche gave him away. <sighs> Posing as an idol, he degraded the gods. Clear was his defiance of the doctrines he had learned. Well, he was just being naughty. <laughs> Aren't all great achievers somewhat self-obsessed? Myself included. <laughs> Nose in the air, feeling above others. I say he was no less insolent than that yellow brow brat. Wait, isn't it that... The lady of some sort. Mm. <laughs> it was her tricks that made Master drive Wukong away. On White Tiger Ridge, he forsook his love. Three times he broke her into pieces, convincing himself his heart would ache no more. Yet, as you must know, he had never let go of her. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been so eager to get away from the Buddhahood he attained. Those who talk much of love will one day bite their tongues. <laughs> On this matter, he was akin to you and your many darlings. No matter where you are, you'd always fall captive to the web of mortal desire. Why bring me into this? True, I don't have the wits to break the web, but... He had torn his way out since that day. <laughs> Take a look, Bajir. Can you see? Yeah. Many of your good friends are here. We're just fair-weather friends, that's all. But they are still friends, aren't they? <laughs> so you say, so it must be. These old buddies. I think none of them ended up well. Indeed. For ages, countless gifted souls have walked this earth. Yet of them, how few have forged everlasting greatness. Do you know why? Injustice? Never has it been just. Misfortune? Fortune is simply humility in the mighty. Well, mayhaps they simply lacked my charm. <laughs> <laughs> Gifted they may be, yet strive they not. Content with little and lost in lust. Seek the ease, yet crave the renown. They yearn for freedom, yet aspire to Buddhahood. They always want both, yet nobody can and nobody should. Such was the folly of the Bull King and Wukong. Destiny's favor calls for the resolution to sever all desires. You should mark well these words.
Hold on. This can't be Wukong's memory. You're fooling us, aren't you? <sighs> Five of the six relics call for one. Bajie, tell me which. Eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Mind, it's mind. What did you just see? The three of us? That was the last one. Oh, I see now. It was you. I knew it from the beginning. You were the mind of Wukong all along. That's why you led us here. Not me. It's him. Don't make me laugh. Him? He is Wukong. Yes. And no. Cut to the chase, will you? We didn't come this far for your riddles. <sighs> After Wukong died, five of his six senses endured and were taken by the Yao Guai kings. Only his mind was lost. Mind is the first of the six. It's the essence unique to every life. Therefore, it's destined to fade away at life's end. Hold on. You mean Wukong's gone for good? Never to return? You old bastard! You've been lying to us all this time! That Wukong you knew will never return. But what made him remains. The universe will always bear him a successor. One who shall carry on his name and nature. This chosen successor is the destined one. Nameless you were, yet perils and mighty foes you've braved to recover his relics. Your will now stands resolute. Worthy of his power. You mean this boy is to take Wukong's name? He's not! Thorn Wukong is long gone! <sighs> but yeah, deep down, you know he wasn't all that perfect. <clears throat> now that he is dead, this one perhaps shall bear the name in his stead. Here, we can venture forth with you no further. This task is yours alone. Sun Wukong left behind a broken shell, stripped of all his six senses. Though ages have passed, it maintains a connection attuned to the echoes of his former self. If you truly are the one destined, you must cast aside his soulless shell and merge the six into one. Then, you shall be the one to begin the journey anew. No, not on his own. He's just a kid who knows nothing. I'll go with him. This place is shaped by Wukong's lingering obsession. It allows only his relic bearer to face ordeal. We can escort him no more. See it for yourself. Hear me, son! You can always run! You don't have to bear Wukong's name!
You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tung Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now, you will hear a tale which no one has ever known. <laughs> 